Okay, so I realize I haven't done the Vlorha video yet, and I've been really wanting to make that video, but uh, I've been busy. Can't see shit. Oh, right behind us. He killed me oh, before yeah. I could even. Oh, God. Ah! Shoot her! Shoot her! <laughs> you're land uh, and you're landing. Uh, uh, <laughs> was that a different ship with different people? Uh, hi, big boy. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Ow, ow, ow. I don't like the drop. I don't like it. <laughs> so, let's talk a little bit about Vlorha. But hey, before I do that, I just wanted to tell you all that I really appreciate all the support you all have given me and how much love and feedback I've gotten with Hearts of Winter. Hearts of Winter and Hearts of Winter 2 require thousands of screenshots and effects and hundreds of hours of editing to bring it to life. If you enjoy the comic as well as the content of my channel, please consider liking this video and subscribing. Your engagement and your feedback are a tremendous help and support my passion as I continue to bring better and better content to you. With that said, let's get into this video. So when I first made Vlorhatia, I originally had just made him a throwaway character, but then I thought to myself, blood, you can do better. So then I scrapped that idea and I got to the drawing board to figure out what kind of character I wanted to make Vlorha. A seeker of the sun, Vlorha is from the Vulture tribe or simply V tribe. And the Vulture tribe consists of, wait, consists of hey does anybody have anything about this v tribe yeah like one of the seeker tribes what do you mean there's nothing like all seekers of the sun tribes young v tribe males are born and raised as tias either to one day challenge the reigning nun their leader for control of the tribe or to go out and create a tribe of their own instead of following this tradition Vlorha decided to go out into the star and discover all eorzea had to offer he embodies the essence of the Wanderer, a person who's been on the road for a very long time and has a wealth of knowledge he can provide to the rest of the characters. Vlorha is what I like to call the voice of reason. With a keen intellect and his wisdom, he serves as a guiding light to several characters throughout the story, offering counsel and clarity to those who need it. He's also one of the first characters we see in the story that can actually wield magic. Since I'm pretty new to creating dynamic effects in things like Photoshop, Creating Vlorha's shots, like the one where he was calling down lightning to strike at the airship, was quite a challenge for me. It actually took me quite a while to actually figure out how to do that effect. And some of my first shots weren't too great. By the end of chapter 1, we see a budding romance between Vlorha and Jazara, something that will be explored and expanded upon in later entries. This is something I especially wanted to highlight in this video, that is, writing stories within a story. While stories typically have a central plot and a main character, the world doesn't necessarily revolve around them. Each character comes from a different background with their own wants, desires, goals, and hardships. In storytelling, this is often referred to as the B story, stories that follow in parallel to the main story. These stories within stories can follow one or more side characters. They can add variety and depth to your story as well as allow you to explore different themes, character arcs, and conflicts. B stories can, for example, be a relationship between your main character and their love interest, or it can be a completely separate arc involving different characters. When writing, I encourage you to have B stories. Good B stories connect us to other characters, providing depth to your world and add levels of complexity and exploration to your story that you may not otherwise have with your main protagonist. That's really all I can say for now about the character of Vlorha, as I don't want to give too much away. I look forward to expanding upon Vlorha in future panels, and hope readers enjoy him as he develops as a character. And hey, I hope you enjoyed this video and the different format that I've had for my previous character analysis videos. If you liked it, or if you have any feedback for future videos, please leave a like and comment below. Until next time, thanks for watching.